Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about moving in Blender on a laptop or on a trackpad or if you don't have a three button mouse. So notice right here in the corner, I have the icon for three button mouse, but I'm actually using my trackpad on my laptop. So to make a Blender able to work without a three button mouse, you need to do some changes in your preferences. So do edit preferences and you'll get this nice little pop-up box and you want to go to input and there's a mouse little drop down here and you want to make sure this is checked. Emulate three button mouse, yes, we want that. So now we have emulated a three button mouse and I'll show you how to do that. Another thing, if you have like a small laptop with a small keyboard, you may not have a numpad on the side, you know the little num block, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine over there. So if you don't have that additional numpad, you can actually emulate the numpad uh, there. So. If anyone is out there and needs that, go ahead and save and close it on and let's get to moving. So in or when you're working in 3D print design, you always want to be moving your view around constantly. So to do that, I want you to hold Alt if you're on PC and I believe it's Control or the Apple symbol or the little squiggly wiggly um, on the Apple keyboard. If you have that, you hold Alt and left click and that is your orbit. So again, like we learned in earlier videos, you can always use this little this little sp spinny widget here if you want to, but I wanna show you how to do it really fast. So I don't want you always going up into the corner to move and pan and zoom. I mean, you can do that if that's your personal preference, but usually you can, do, you can work a lot faster and kind of get lost in the design process if you can just do it, um, you know, which is just a few sh short keyboard shortcuts. So, um, again, alt click, alt left click is uh, how you would orbit on a, like a laptop trackpad or two button mouse. And then if we want to do a zoom like this, we want to, uh, I mean, one thing you can do is just scroll. I'm doing like a two finger scroll on my trackpad. So try that. It should give you some type of scroll, um, but it's very quick and very fast. So what I want you to do to zoom with your keyboard is hold alt. Alt is like our our power button and then hold control. So you're just holding that with your thumb and maybe ring finger and now left click and now we can slowly zoom. So I want you to practice that, just slowly zooming in a nice controlled zoom there. And then we have the pan, which is this little hand here. And that's just grabbing the screen essentially and moving your entire scene around. But the way we're gonna do it with a trackpad or a two button mouse is hold alt. Again, alt is our power button there and hold shift. So I've got alt and shift held and left mouse click and that will be our pan. So what I want you to practice in this video is just um, alt clicking to orbit and then alt control clicking to zoom and then alt shift clicking to pan. So just try doing those in different combinations because that's what we're gonna have to be able to do as a 3D print designer. I know when I was teaching kids, they would always, they would just never move their view around really. And they would be working on something for a long time and then they would go and just barely turn their view, you know, after like an hour or 30 minutes. Um, let's be real, kids do not design that long. <laughs> but after they would move there, you know, something would be happening way over here that from this perspective, it looked like it was happening right under the head. So um, all in all, what I'm trying to say is move your view, people, move your view around as much as you can while you're designing. The faster and better you get at this skill, the better designer you're going to be. So let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson where I'm going to talk about a 3D space mouse. And I know most of you don't have it, but it is very fun and kind of strange to get used to. But let's go ahead and jump in it and I'll show you what it does.